Hi there, welcome to today's class on lipsticks and lip colors. So I'm coming on today to show you uh, how to apply lipstick in a way that's going to be most flattering for your lips. So the first thing that I do when I'm applying lipstick is I prime them. Um, first I exfoliate and then I prime actually. So I've already exfoliated and moisturized my lips. Then I wanna prime it either with um, a face and eye primer or powder is another good way. So I just powder my lips to give it a good solid base for your lipstick to stick to. The next thing that you want to do when applying lipstick is always make sure that you have a matching lip liner or a very similar colored lip liner. Lip liner is gonna keep your lipstick inside the lines and it's going to prevent any bleeding and it's going to create a solid edge to your lipstick. So when you trace your lips, you wanna go along the line of your lips so that you're over tracing it just a hair. Uh, so I'm using uh, Posh Lip Liner and I'm going, so you wanna create an X across your, um, your peaks of your lips. to really emphasize that point in your lips. And then, sometimes the powder makes it a little, um, a little difficult to trace along the edges and you need to apply a little extra color. So again, we're just going right along the edge of our lips so that it's going just outside of it. Seems like the powder is being picked up on my lips or my lip liner. And we're just tracing along the, the lines along our lips. And again, just slightly overdrawn. Okay, and same on the bottom. Don't want to go too far outside of your lip line because that will that will be really obvious and people will know that that that's not really the the size of your lips. Okay, so once you've traced your lips, you wanna select a color that's very similar to that lip liner. So I'm using Stately Liquid Lipstick, which is a deep berry. And you don't need a lot of this liquid lipstick because a little bit goes a long way. And you just wanna color the inside of your lips and right up to right up to the edge of that lip liner. And just blend them together nice and smooth. And then press them together and some of it will transfer because like I said, you don't need a lot. But the 
this liquid lipstick. And again, pressing them together. And so they're just a little overdrawn and just a little bigger than normal. So once you've completed that, then your lipstick is set. This liquid lipstick does set to a solid, um, like a solid stain almost, and it stays put through so much. Um, I usually wear this when I'm at work and as I'm drinking or snacking, um, it doesn't transfer, it doesn't move as long as it's set, which does take about an hour. But once that hour is complete, as long as you haven't um, had any major um, eating or, or drinking or anything like that, it does set and stay. Um, so once you've completed that, then you can blot it if it's too dark and lighten it up. Otherwise, you are set. All right, so the next thing I'm going to show you is the proper application of lip stains. And again, the main thing that I want to emphasize when applying lip stains is to use an exfoliator. This is uh, was one of our exclusive exfoliators. We do offer a lip exfoliator uh, that's black. And it uses cocoa butter and sugar. And you just rub it on and scrub it into your lips okay so you're just rubbing it in so what that's going to do is it's going to scrub away any dead skin cells and moisturize your lips so you're going to just rub that in make sure to remove all that dead skin and really moisturize your lips And then once you've done that, then you want to wipe it away. It's really actually quite delicious, the one that we, that Unique sells. So I often just lick it off. And then, and then wipe away any remaining. All right, so with the lip stains, I don't use a lip liner because it sets into the skin on your lips. So I'm using Sultry and it comes in a tube, which is generally spill proof, but I never, ever, ever test that theory just in case because it will stain everything. So you just apply it. along the natural shape of your lips. And again, we're kind of creating that X at the peaks of our lips. We're going, we're staying inside the lines with the stains because it's really apparent if you go outside of the lines. Be very careful when you're applying lip stains because their name says it all. It is a stain. So the lip stain, once it dries, it is transfer resistant and it will, it won't 
transfer to your partner, it won't transfer on your drinks, it won't transfer um, anywhere. It'll stay on your lips like it is, like it's actually colored the skin, which is what it does. So I'm just wiping off any extra, any excess along the edges. And that's it. And again, this will stay Yeah, it didn't transfer to my hand. See, see, it doesn't transfer once it sets, and it sets very quickly. All right, so that's how you apply a lip stain. And so if you want to order any of these products, go to the website below, and you can get them there. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day. Bye.